shooting your crossbow. This segment covers triggers, shooting safety features, and shooting technique. All current 10-point Horton and Wicked Ridge crossbows are equipped with our 3.5 pound auto-engaging safety trigger. The trigger safety automatically engages or moves to the safe position when you cock the crossbow. The engagement of the trigger's safety slide is visually apparent by watching the safety knob move from fire, the red position, to safe, the white position, while cocking the crossbow. Never test your safety by pulling or preloading your trigger, that is, by pulling it when it is on safe. You can test it by pushing the safety knob in the safe or white direction against the end of the safety knob slot. It should move approximately 1 16th of an inch and then bounce back or spring back once you stop pushing it. The bounce back means the safety is engaged. If there is no bounce back, the safety is not engaged and you must re-engage it by forcefully pulling the bowstring as if you were cocking the crossbow. Also, if the safety knob fails to bounce back, you should contact 10 Points Customer Service Department. It may be necessary for you to return your crossbow for repair. All post-1996 10-point crossbows, Horton Crossbow Innovations crossbows, and Wicked Ridge crossbows are also equipped with our DFI, Dry Fire Inhibitor. The DFI prevents a dry fire when a shooter forgets to load an arrow on the flight deck. If you do forget to load your arrow and pull the trigger, the DFI will catch the string immediately after it releases from the string latch, keeping you from damaging the bow and or potentially hurting yourself or others. If you try to cock your crossbow with the safety engaged, that is, in the safe position, the string latch will not set or capture the bow string, and the safety will not engage. Instead, the DFI will catch and hold the string, making it look like the crossbow is cocked when it is not. Whenever the DFI holds the bowstring, you cannot fire the crossbow. You must complete the cocking action. To do so, disengage the safety by pushing it into the fire position, and then forcefully pull the bowstring into the back of the trigger box's string slot. The string will automatically set or engage the safety, and the string latch will drop down capture the string and hold it in the cocked position. After you perform this technique, check to make sure the string is no longer held by the DFI. All 10-point Horton and Wicked Ridge crossbows currently being manufactured are equipped with safety engineered foregrips and safety wings or shields, which help keep your hand safely on the foregrip and below the flight deck to prevent injury. Remember, you will seriously injure or possibly amputate your thumb or fingers if you fail to keep them safely on the foregrip well below the flight deck and out of the bowstring's release path when you fire your crossbow. As any experienced hunter will tell you, it's easy to make a bad shot. To shoot a crossbow accurately, you must practice proper shooting technique. If you're shooting from a standing position, your feet should be approximately shoulder width apart and positioned either perpendicular to the target in a closed stance or quartering at a 45 degree angle toward the target in an open stance. Pick the stance that's most comfortable for you. Shoulder the crossbow keeping your foregrip hand and fingers below the flight deck to prevent serious personal injury. Position your cheek in the middle of the stock's cheek piece or comb and make sure you have a clear sight picture through the scope. Ideally, keep both elbows pulled close to your body to better support your crossbow. Follow the same steps when shooting from a seated position, making certain your crossbow limbs will clear any obstacles when shooting. Shooting from a bench rest makes your foregrip hand particularly vulnerable to misplacement. Be careful to keep your thumb and fingers below the flight deck and away from the cables to avoid injury. Before taking your shot, take a breath. Exhale half of it. Retain the remaining breath. Place your trigger finger on the trigger and slowly squeeze, not jerk the trigger. This breath control process will keep you steady and improve your accuracy. Follow the shot through your scope rather than looking up immediately after pulling the trigger. This technique is called follow through and it will improve your accuracy as well.